In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to take soil samples in bearing orchards. Use the same um, index row as you would use for your leaf sample and take samples every two or three years. In sandy soils every two years and clay soils every three years. Furthermore, it's important to note what is your irrigation type in your orchard as this will determine the position where you're going to take your sample. In micro-irrigation, you take your soil sample in your root zone which is typically between your micro emitter and the, the tree stem and halfway between the tree stem and the edge of your canopy. In this specific example, it's roughly in this zone. In the case of a drip irrigation system, um, the position of the, of the sample should be very much in the root zone in the dripper pot. Don't take the soil sample directly under the dripper as this would mean very wet conditions which is uh, um, depleted of, of nutrients, and also not on the edge of the pot, as this might be an area where there's accumulation of salts, which has, have a negative effect on your analysis. A thumb rule would be 20 centimeters away from your dripper emitter um, and in the root zone, not on the edge, not directly under the dripper. In this specific instance, there's a micro irrigation, and the process will be um, um, described using the, a normal spade or using a soil auger. Make sure that when you take your soil sample under your canopy that it's not taken at an angle on the side of the, of the ridge but directly going down into your root zone. Clearly mark on your soil auger what is the, the depth as we will take it on probably from 0 to 30 in your, in your root zone and in some instance where you've got the accumulation of salts in your subsoil might even have to take a sample from 30 to 60 centimeters to see if there's any accumulation of salts that might um, uh, with capillary rise get into your into your root zone. The process is as follows. Take a spade and clear any organic debris that might be on your soil surface as this might contaminate the analysis um, of your soil sample. After that make sure You've got an idea where your sample will be taken in your root zone, which is typically in this zone. Take your soil, soil auger, make sure that it's directly facing upwards and take the sample from a depth from zero down to 30 centimeters, not on a specific depth. Take this soil at least 10 to 15 positions down your index row place it into a container and afterwards, after all the soil has been collected, mix it nicely and take a subsample of between 0.5 and a kilogram of soil. Place it in a plastic bag which is nicely sealable and clearly marked with the block number, the farm name and the depth. Also note the coarse fraction in the soil. The coarse fraction is any inactive particles bigger than larger than two millimeters that form part of the sample, which will have an effect on the amount of lime and gypsum that is required to rectify the chemistry of the soil. If you use a soil auger to take your soil sample, consider the, the type of soil auger that you're using. You get these, uh, um, these type, which is used for um, sampling clay soils as it's easy to remove the soil. Well, this bucket auger is used um, for, uh, for sandy soils. You call this a bucket auger, and this you call an Edelman auger that you use with regards to the soil type that you had. You can actually see that there's two different um, sizes as well. Consider using a smaller auger when sampling under the trees, as it's difficult to sometimes come in with a larger auger, which then causes it to, to take people to take the sample at different angles, which then sometimes give you the, um, varying results. If using a spade to take a soil sample, take the same position as you would for the soil auger. Take your spade, re remove 10 centimeters of that top soil where the organic debris might be in, and then make sure you take a sample from zero to 30 centimeters, collect that, that soil, and place it into your bucket, which you would take your subsample from. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any other questions or comments, please contact your area extension manager or make contact with us via our website.